Josh Douglas here on Christmas Day, continuing to educate you, the crutch user sitting at home on your computer because you can't walk around because you're on crutches. Well, my friends, I'm helping you learn how to get back into the real world, whether you're an amputee or whether you're injured. Right now, I want to teach you, assuming that you're using forearm crutches because you took my advice and you got forearm crutches, I want to show you how to carry stuff using forearm crutches. So it's Christmas Day, like I said, and I want to show you, let's say it's Christmas and you want to carry some stuff, like some presents or whatnot, here's what you're going to do. And you're probably going to have to come closer to me. Uh, first of all, you're going to say hi to your grandmother. Hello, Grandma. Hi. How are you doing? Hi. Now, your most, your most basic crutch carrying move is going to be the hook one. I'm going to show you four ways to carry stuff. All right? Here is the most basic one, is the hook. Let's say you have any kind of bag that has loops like this. All you do is you throw... Can, it, can you see me, Anna? Is mm -hmm. there enough light? Um, is you throw the crutch... Look at that. You throw the thing over, right? Hands-free carrying. All right, I'm going to walk towards you, Anna. Step back. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, Becky. Silly dog. This, oh my gosh. All right, see how easy this is? Super easy, people. Super, super easy. All right, now, let's say that you have something that does not have handles on it. All right, here's our next, our next move. It's going to be the grip, okay? Let's say that we have this box of cereal that I want to carry. Look, not too wide. Here's what you're going to do. Take these two fingers, put it around it, and then put the rest of your hand over the crutch. Can you see that? You got a good shot of that now? Mm -hmm. And then when you walk, you just... Lean your hand on the crutch, and then hold the box with the other two fingers. All right? Not bad. Now, let's say that we have something a little bit bigger that's too big to put my hand around. All right? Now, we have this box here. I can kind of get my hand around it, but let's say I couldn't. Here's a secret crutch-carrying technique that you've probably never seen before. You're going to put it under your arm like this, and then let the weight drop down onto the top cuff of your crutch. You see that? Now, when you walk like this, dun-dun-dun, it's not nearly as difficult as you would think. Alright, now our final crutch carrying move is let's say that you have something that is too big, too heavy, too awkward to carry. I'm home for Christmas, obviously. There's people running around everywhere. Too big, too awkward to carry uh, in any of the movements that you've seen thus far. You're going to have to use one crutch at a time. Grandma, can I use the seat for a second? Sure. You just stand up for a second. Absolutely. Alright, here's what you're going to do. You're going to have to carry with one hand and step on one crutch at a time. Does that make sense? Dun, dun, dun. Now this is your only your last resort, which you want to use only for big and heavy items. Thanks, Grandma. Sorry about that. All right, so those are your four crutch carrying techniques. Use them wisely. Be careful. Don't be afraid to ask people for help. But really, you shouldn't ask people for help. Why? Because you have forearm crutches, and you can do whatever you want. That's right, because you don't use underarm crutches, do you? No, you don't. Thanks for watching. Merry Christmas.